and welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Bryant alongside head coach Darren Schoenrock and coach Rock coming off a really nice weekend, a 3-0 sweep of Missouri. They're now in the Southeastern Conference. That was not only the first series win, a uh, three-game series win, but the first sweep of an SEC team since 1981 uh, when you did over, I believe, Tennessee, but it was also last year's Big 12 tournament champion, so that was a really good opponent to get a sweep over. Well, you know, early in the year, Jeff, you never know really what's going to happen. There's a lot of uncertainties with a lot of college baseball teams now, and coaches still tinkering with lineups and with bullpen matchups, and 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 our guys responded well this weekend after a tough opening weekend. Uh, Missouri is, is very similar to we are. They're searching for some things, but one of the things we did was we capitalized on every mistake they made, I thought, on the weekend. I thought it was two very similar teams. Both teams, I thought, had very good pitching. Both teams were trying to find a way to score some runs. Both had good defense. It was your team, though, uh, that broke through and found a way to get some consistent offense over the weekend. Yeah, I think we, we probably out-executed them in the short game and the running game, and that was the difference is we ran the bases. We, we have to push the envelope a little bit, and and on the aggressive side, uh, and we did that a little bit more than they did. And, you know, we, we limited it. We, we held, they got some guys to third. They had a hard time getting them in. Uh, we, we did a better job of scoring guys from third base, especially in the Sunday game. Uh, well, for your efforts, uh, you also, it was just released that Mark Taylor put out College Baseball Insiders. You're one of the honorable mention teams of the week, so it's uh, nice to get those little honors. Yeah, it's great. Anything that this, this young bunch can get, you know, to gain confidence with is, is good at this point. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, the more so than the, the three-game sweep, but you're starting to see a little bit of banding together, of un guys understanding roles, uh, guys rooting for pinch hitters. Uh, we're still searching a little bit in the lineup, you know, in some, in some spots, and, and I think everybody's all in with what we're doing. Let's talk about Friday night, a 6 nothing shutout of Missouri. That was the game where the offense kind of got going for you. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a combination of Sam – uh, phenomenal start for Sam Maul. Uh, the, then the once we once we got a few on the board, then we were just able to hit and, and try to expand the lead just by hitting. And and our guys responded well. I thought we did a great job with their pitcher. He came in with a lot of accolades and, and uh, came in as a guy that was was supposed to be their bell cow. And 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 we capitalized on every mistake that he made uh, up in the zone with with the base hit and with the you know driving the ball. Uh, Tucker got off a big swing. So the, the weekend got off to a good start. Saturday was a very good test for you because it was the first time this season you didn't take the lead to start the ball game. You had to come back and win that game. And also it was great to see Heath Hatfield in relief. He comes up, picks up the win. It was the first win since I believe March 15th of 2011. He's kind of uh, the last few years, he started out pretty healthy, but the last few years kind of been injuries in and out. So it was really nice to see him uh, get stretched out. Yeah, that's the, the culmination of a lot of rehab over a couple of years. And, and you never know how guys are going to respond. He's had actually had two different surgeries and, and uh, stuck with it. And, and that's the role that we kind of envisioned for Heath this year is to be a, a damage control, come in when the starter's struggling a little bit. And, and, you know, and Eric wasn't exactly struggling, didn't have his breaking ball going that he normally does. And, and so he, he battled through and kept us in the thing in five innings and then turned it over to Heath, who had his good stuff going and gave us a chance to get our little offense going. And, and uh, just a big day for Heath. Coach, on Sunday, you get an 8-2 win. Ethan Gross uh, helped you complete that sweep three for four, three runs batted in. Different guys every day, and, and, and I think that's the whole concept of team, of how we have to play. Uh, Ethan is, you know, hasn't been stellar offensively, uh, got him down the nine hole, and you never know where the RBI opportunities are going to come when you, when you write a lineup down. They happen to come in that nine hole, and Ethan responded, and I think two of his three RBIs were with two strikes, and, and he's been kind of tough with two strikes. He swung and missed a lot, and, and he moved balls when he had to and forced, you know, forced Missouri to make some plays, and, and came, we came out on the good end of the, that thing. Only five runs, the fewest uh, runs allowed in a three-game series since 2004 uh, up at Murray State. Yeah, and only two of the five, I think, were earned. Yeah. So uh, we're making, if we can make opponents earn everything they get, uh, it, it, it does nothing but help our offense knowing that we don't have to score seven or eight runs. We can, we can, we can expand leads with, with scoring one at a time. Uh, the more we pitch like we did this weekend, the more I'm confident in using a short game from, six, from the sixth inning on uh, because the, the threat of a big inning, I don't think we gave up but a, a single big inning all weekend. So uh, if we can negate the big inning and, and throw, you know, throw the ball through the strike zone and make routine plays, now we can, we can try to score it in ones and twos late in the game with the lead. We, we talked about the magic number being six runs. If a college team can get six runs, they'll be very successful. I think this team, if it scores five runs a game, is going to be pretty successful. 
The thing I think the, uh, the guys have figured out now pretty quickly, and I know you're happy that they don't need big innings. They don't need a three or four run inning. Uh, it's just as good to get one run six times a game in six different innings. It's still going to add up. Yeah, it's, it, it takes a lot of work. You know, you, you can't just sit back and watch guys swing. Uh, I'm, I'm always trying to find advantage counts to run in, and I'm always trying to find hit and run counts for this team. And one of the things we've stressed is the short game and the hit and run game up and down the lineup. We spend a lot of our time offensively on that. And, and so far, we've, you know, we've pick good moments and, and we've ran ourselves out of a couple innings but that's going to happen with this team. Uh, I think we still have to play that way and, and, and kind of force the issue and pressure the defense. Coach back home this weekend, a familiar face will come to town, Corey Barton in uh, his Louisiana Monroe Club. He's still the hitting coach down there and boy he, he's done a good job uh, helping with that program and being uh, their assistant coach and that program's done very well. I believe they won the Sun Belt last year. Yeah, he's Corey is a, is a recruiting coordinator and hitting coach and, and I knew he was a star in the rising uh, in the coaching ranks, and he was you know, very special to me. He's the first player I signed at the University of Memphis when I got the job, and, and so he'll always kind of be a member of our family, and, and it's tough looking across the dugout competing against that, but happy for Corey. Uh, very solid team they come in with. Uh, played in the regional last year, good test. They beat us twice down there at their place last year, so, uh, you know, and I think our guys, uh, maybe the, the, the newness of what our lineup is uh, we'll just be excited to play. I think this team is at a point where we stress that we're playing today, not who we're playing or, or where we're playing. We're just an opportunity to play. Just for a note for the, the viewers out there for the broadcast information this weekend, we will have the Friday's broadcast on the radio still up on the air about Saturday and the web stream on Sunday, but all three games will be uh, webcast on the Memphis Tiger Network, so you can at least watch them from FedEx Park. Coach, how I guess your rotation uh, sets up the, the same. You're going to stay with Maud on that Friday start. Stay with, stay with the same rotation for the weekend. And, you know, we, you really go into the season with a five week evaluation period to see if uh, we do any, need to make any changes before we start conference. But, you know, really, uh, our starters have been okay. Uh, it, it's, they've, they've kept us in every game. Uh, we just have to find a way to scratch out enough runs to give those guys some cushion to go to the bullpen. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with where we are, not happy with the record, but, but how we're playing uh, is not indicative of, of what the record is right now. Oh, four and three of the schedule we've played is not bad, but you go in this weekend, you can empty everything out as far as bullpen and, and lineup because you're going to have next week off until you get back into the weekend series. Yeah, well, you know, we kind of have a little break with the midweek next week and we'll actually have a chance for, you know, it's the NCAA evaluation period where our coaches can go back out now, so we'll get some coaches back out on the road and and, uh, and, you know, gear up for this, the, these final few weekends before we start conference. All right, Coach, thanks a lot. We'll see you at the ballpark Friday. Thanks, Jeff. That is head coach Darren Schoenreich. I'm Jeff Brightwell. This is the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.